Hey guys, it's WT here and welcome to The Coin Alley. In this episode of The Coin Alley and Subscriber's Choice, we'll be discussing Token Store, giving you a quick overview and uh, how to actually utilize uh, Token Store. All this coming right up. Let's do it. And welcome back to the Coin Alley. I am your host, WT. So in this episode of Subscriber's Choice, I'll be giving you guys a quick tutorial on how to use Token Store. Now, Token Store is a decentralized uh, crypto exchange for Ethereum tokens. Um, it's a lot like um, the other uh, decentralized um, exchange called Ether Delta, but I find this one to be uh, a lot more user friendly than Ether Delta. So I'll run you guys through uh, how to utilize uh, Token Store. Now, to use Token Store, you will need to have MetaMask. Um, if you don't want to use MetaMask, you can also use the My Ethereum wallet. Um, but if you're not familiar with MetaMask, there's several videos out there. I believe I have a video on MetaMask as well. Um, but you can go to metamask.io. You can get the uh, extension for Chrome. Uh, there's one for Firefox, and there's also one for the Brave browser. So you click on the um, link that's a, that's um, applicable to your browser, and then you follow the instructions, install the uh, MetaMask. Um, it's very easy. Once you've installed MetaMask, then you can go ahead and you can add funds to it. So here is my MetaMask. It's right over here. And you'll have an address and you can actually go ahead and send your uh, funds to that address. So I've already done that at the start of the video. I sent some funds over to uh, that address on MetaMask. Now if you don't want to use MetaMask, you can also use uh, my Ethereum wallet. So if you don't want to utilize uh, MetaMask, you can go ahead and use My Ethereum Wallet. So here is my MetaMask address. But if you wanted to go with um, My Ethereum, you would click New Account. And as you can see here, it issues you um, a, a new address. And with this, you can toggle and get the secret or the private key. And then you would send your Ethereum to this address. And it remains right here in your browser. You want to go ahead and copy down your um, private keys. That way um, you, you can utilize it later to move your tokens about. Uh, you don't want to forget that information. So I'm going to go ahead and use um, MetaMask since it's a lot easier for me to use because um, it's integrated into the browser. So I'll go ahead and I'll just remove that. And then we'll go back here. So I am going to get... Uh, some Tron tokens today, but as you can see, there's a list of other tokens that you can acquire from Token Store. Um, be it um, there's Tether, there's Omisigo, there's also Salt, um, there's EVN, and there is uh, Tron. That's what we're working with today. So I'm going to go ahead and type Tron, and I'm going to need to refresh that here. So here's Tron, and we have funds here in our Ethereum wallet. So the first thing is that we need to go ahead and we need to transfer some funds. We need to deposit funds um, into our exchange balance. That way we can get started in purchasing our Tron token. So right now I have about $52 in Ethereum. So I want to make sure I have enough left in this wallet for gas. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer um, some money from my wallet over to the exchange balance. All right. So I'm going to send some money here. And that's going to go off to the exchange balance. 
Let me check the transaction here over at uh, MetaMask. And I might need to go ahead and refresh that here. So now this is a decentralized exchange, so we're waiting for this transaction to complete. Right now it is pending. And as you can see here, the transaction is currently still pending. So we're waiting for that to complete, then we can proceed with our transaction. All right, as you can see here, it is now successful. It is completed. And as you can see here, it is now showing in the exchange balance. So now we can go ahead and purchase some Tron. So Tron is about two cents uh, per token. So I should be able to purchase about 2,250 uh, Tron tokens. So let's go ahead and we'll type 2,250. Uh, 2,002. Let's see, we're going to buy it at this amount 2,250. second. All right, so I miscalculated the cost of the Tron token, so they're about four cents right now on Token Store. So that'll give me 1,125. So I'll type that amount in there, and then I'll click Buy. Make sure my instant order is on. So I bought 1,125 tokens of the TRX tokens, and that transaction is currently pending, and I'm gonna wait for this to complete. All right, that transaction is complete, and now you see that I have 1,125 TRX, which are Tron tokens right now, in my exchange balance. Now the next step is to remove this, the Tron, back into my wallet balance down here. That way I can transfer them out to my existing ERC20 wallet. So I'm going to go down here to withdraw. And I'm going to type in 1,125 and I'm going to hit the withdraw button and that transaction is currently being processed so what's going to happen is the Tron will move from my exchange balance down to my wallet balance and then I'll show you the next step alright and now you can see that my 1125 Tron tokens are now in my wallet here so the next step is to actually transfer this amount of Tron into my existing wallet over at my Ethereum wallet. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at my Tron tokens here. So here is my Ether scan of my Ethereum wallet. And you'll see that I have currently 3,754 Tron tokens. So I'm gonna transfer those tokens that I just acquired on Token Store over to this address. So I need to go ahead and copy this address down here. Copy. And then we're going to go back here to the store. And we're in the transfer section. I'm going to put my Ethereum address and 1,125. And we're going to transfer TRX. That's been added to the blockchain. It's pending. 
Once it's complete, you'll see over here in my Tron wallet or my my Tron contract on the my Ethereum wallet address here, you'll see my new Tron holdings is added to my balance. So we'll go back here and we'll check. It's still pending. And then we'll refresh this screen right here to see uh, once those tokens uh, have been added to my wallet. All right, and as you can see here, the transfer is complete. We'll go over here to our Ether scan and we'll refresh our page here. And here you see two minutes ago, 1,125 Tron token and our balance has been updated. So it's pretty simple um, to use Token Store for all of your, well not all of your ERC20 token needs, but you have a list of ERC20 tokens that are currently supported on Token Store. If you guys have any questions about Token Store, be sure to drop those questions down in the comment section and I'll try and answer those questions as best as possible. If you found this video to be useful, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to the Coin Alley, I would certainly appreciate you going ahead and subscribing to our channel. All right, guys, until our next video, take care of yourself and, of course, each other.